uh, I guess I'll do this one. Uh, this is an old one, but it's lots of fun to do. And it's, you know, appropriate for y'alls. Um, we ain't nothing like the truth ain't nothing. Like the truth ain't nothing but the truth. We ain't nothing but a bunch of spoken word artists. Now, a few have accused me of being a teacher and others have even gone so far as to call me a friend, but I'm just a punk half free drunk trying to hold up my own end when we, when they tell us to hold our fire, but we can see the whites of their lies printed right there in our textbooks, framed by the red and the blue of the powers that be. The same ones that turn the letter X into a commodity and the indigenous nations into a mystery. So now from sea to shining sea, we have kids who can't even cross their own hearts or dot their third eyes. So they don't even recognize that their spirit is being bled into a bottle that will soon be spun for no one. And whenever I question why we're stuck in standardized tests, I'm told to mind my own P's and Q's and just keep on marching to their tune like I'm supposed to be strapping on army boots when I should be marching with a million men and women down that historic route so we can find the stories routes before they just traded in their red coats for blue. And now the and they have the nerve to carve the conquerors' faces in Mount Fuckmore, overlooking the spiritual significance of the incomplete Crazy Horse Monument, pointing towards unfinished business about ancient tribal societies when it was all about family and metaphor was reality. And we all understood that that trickster coyote, well, he might have busted some double talk, but it wasn't until the Great White Father showed up that everyone started speaking with forked tongue. And if we could just catch them young, then maybe they'd learn how to use their chromosomes like algebra and biology, where X plus X equals life and breath. Y and Y only make two things, Jack and shit. But Jack is still so obsessed with his own candlestick that he don't recognize there ain't no trick to getting Jill up that hill, because no matter how nimble he is with his skills, he's just too damn quick. Quick to play the rabbit when the trouble hits. But I guess that's how it goes when you're forced to grow on recycled poetry and pre owned prose, like Yo MTV selling out the movement to Starbucks, spinning our straw into their gold. So while wisdom is imprisoned in old folks' homes and children are left sleepwalking through Sega Dreamcast instead of casting their dreams into every grain of sand so their thumbs go numb while entire oceans spill right through their hands. But there has got to be a way to save the day, even if the Aztecs and the Mayans say in that Atlantis kind of way that we only got a few years left. We have still got to end all this theft and relearn our ABCs and one, two, threes, because once we have the propensities to see that there are far more than just three wise men and women who deserve to be heard, then history will be alive and well and living in spoken word.